In this week's episode, a possible government lawsuit to save Mexican wolves, illegal monkeys seized in China, Lonesome George is back from the dead, and something unusual turns up in a pack of broccoli. Get these stories and more in your two-minute roundup of nature news. Starting in the states where Arizona officials are putting the federal government under pressure to help the recovery of endangered Mexican wolves. They're threatening to sue in a bid to force the development of the plan. Efforts to reintroduce the predators to part of New Mexico and Arizona have been hampered over the years by illegal shootings and must be better enforced. Off to China and what is arguably the most shocking poaching seizure we've seen in a while. 28 loris and 19 macaque monkeys were found stuffed into the trunk of a car. Two men were taken into custody on charges of intent to sell the 50 animals, which were given health checks before being released. In more poaching news, customs officials in France found 170 baby endangered radiated tortoises hidden in the secret compartment of a crate headed for Laos. The tortoises, found only in Madagascar, are sought after by collectors as their shells have a unique pattern. Sticking with tortoises, Lonesome George, the last known giant Galapagos tortoise, is coming back from the dead in a new exhibit at the American Museum of Natural History. Head over to EarthTouchNews.com to find out how he was preserved. From one reptile to another, and this week's weirdest. A family in the UK was stunned to find a gecko hiding in the broccoli they bought at a local store. The tiny stowaway, now dubbed Brock, traveled all the way from Spain hiding in the veg. Speaking of strange finds, a team of scientists in Vietnam have discovered a new species of stick insect, and it is massive. At 21 inches long, with its front legs stretched out, it is the second biggest living insect that has been described, ever. Down to Indonesia and another new insect, a weevil named after David Attenborough. The new beetle isn't the first animal named after the legendary naturalist, but it's hoped that the find and the name will boost support for projects that protect the island's forests, some of which are in serious danger of being wiped out in the next decade. Another Indonesian animal has scientists puzzled, the fanged frog. The frog is the only species that gives birth to tadpoles, as opposed to laying fertilized eggs. Back to the States, where staff at the New England Aquarium are giving a bullied fish a second chance at school life, with a glass eye. In the wild, sick fish are easy targets for predators, and though the rockfish could swim well, its missing eye gave it the appearance of being weak. We're wrapping up with this week's feel-good story. After devastating bushfires ravaged Australia, locals came out in full force to help dehydrated koalas. Humans, sometimes you aren't so bad. Want to read more about the stories in the Roundup? Check out the links in the video description. Until next time, we'll see you on the website, Facebook, and Twitter.